a story to score. UPC has been asking questions related to science and spirituality from you know early times itself. Recently also there have been questions but uh, the recent questions were particularly from the field of science alone. So there was a question about uh, the scientific research like uh, what is science but nothing but I mean but a blind date with knowledge. And there was a question on mathematics being uh, I mean specifically. Earlier most of the questions were related to both science and spirituality. Now people who study sociology as an optional have this particular segment of religion and science in their syllabus. Sociology paper 1 have a chapter on religion and this particular segment directly deals with that. I would say that all of you need not prepare on this area. Again, you won't get a question every year. But if you have a passion towards this particular segment of science and spirituality, you could read upon that like when sociology we study about what are the points of convergence, what are the points of divergence and what are the areas, you know, science and spirituality should keep away from each other, what are the areas they could uh, collaborate, etc. So you should have a basic idea about those things. And there are actually a lot of books on this area. But I won't recommend it to all of you. Only when you are very much interested in this area, you should study them. Otherwise, about uh, scientific methods, people who study humanity subjects like sociology and psychology will have a fair idea about the social research. So, those elements can be used. Generally, there could be articles in newspapers and uh, social media also about science and spirituality. And if you are into this particular area, I mean, if you have natural interest, you could make good use of it. Like, uh, say for example, the convergence of science and spirituality, if you are talking about, you could uh, talk about people like Gregor Mendel, who was a priest, but who was, uh, I mean, who had given a great contribution in the field of genetics. Then you could uh, talk about from the field of fiction, like, uh, you know, the book called Angels and Demons, which talks about the conflict between religion and science. Or you could uh, go back to the history and uh, how the Catholic Church have problem with uh, people of science and uh, you could talk about uh, how people like Giordano Bruno was uh, killed by the church because uh, he disputed the church version of the geocentric world. Or you could talk about people like Copernicus and Galileo who had to fight the church to come up with their scientific inventions. So such kind of examples are uh, always comes in handy and uh, you know people like uh, Socrates who always tried to have that curiosity element among his disciples and in Indian society it's all much more fused the science and spirituality have never been in conflict to each other but they more or less were considered as the you know different paths towards the same truth and again here also how the you know the saints and other kind of people were champions of knowledge as well so such kind of larger examples you could use you should have as i said this basic understanding about you know the realms of science and spirituality and the areas of convergence and divergence of course you could talk about uh, the darwin's theory of evolution and how the you know, the Western society was, I mean, particularly the American society was uh, considering that particular information and uh, how the, some of the Indian intellectuals, how they compared the, you know, the theory of evolution with the concept of Dashavadara from the Indian mythology. So, the examples of uh, dealing with the scientific 
enquiries and uh, i mean by the different religions that also you should have a fair idea if you want to take up this topic so this particular topic until and unless you have uh, sociology or maybe philosophy as an optional you may not be having any material in your hand only when you are into this topic and if you have done some extra reading you will be able to write a 1000 to 1200 words that is the general essay so only for people who are interested i recommend this particular segment for others you don't need to worry too much because it's not going to be much fruitful for you even if you put effort so that's about the science and spirituality let's move on to another topic next week thank you for watching